Hey, it's Kinoshnik channel and if you're here I guess you want to know how to make these fluid simulations in Blender. I will use the object from my previous video and the link is right up there. The built-in fluid physics in Blender is ok, but I suggest to use a Flip Fluids add-on, which is not free, but way much better. When you install Flip Fluids, go to Layout and duplicate the hallway by pressing Shift D, then scale it up just a little bit. It will be our domain, it's better to rename it and the first cube will be the obstacle. Go to Physics tab and choose Flip Fluids, type domain for domain object so it's automatically transformed into a big wireframe cube. For the inner object, choose an obstacle type in Flip Fluids Physics and flag it as inverse, cause the fluids will flow inside of it. Now. Now I will add a cube behind the corner of the hallway, where I expect the flow to start. You need to scale it down so it doesn't touch the borders of the obstacle. Then physics flip fluids type fluid. Then go to domain cube and physics. There are many options and the main for now is resolution, which I won't touch yet because I want to see if all is ok with the objects. Press bake, wait a bit and it's done. So everything seems fine. There is no material yet, but we will add it later. I want to make a second wave, so I duplicate the fluids cube and place it above. Go to physics tab and then trigger frame offset, you can set a frame number when you want the second wave to start. I set it as 40, reset bake and bake again. So now you can see the second wave, which is cool and now let's add some foam and bubbles. Go to domain and enable white water simulation. Set the resolution as much as your computer system can work out, for me 500 is up to limit. So after hours of baking I got this. I did not make my own water shader and I used a free shader from Remington, link is below. You can play with parameters or leave it as it is. For white water particles I made a basic white shader. Now after days of rendering. Looks nice but we can have more fun with this project and create a shining like scene. If it was useful, please like and subscribe, and if you didn't know, this tutorial is also a VFX breakdown of a scene from our short movie Rear Window. To see it, check the video above and leave a comment which scene you would like us to break down in future videos. And thank you for watching.